Hi, and welcome to Sling. In this video, we'll cover the schedule page and options in depth so you can understand how to apply our tools to your scheduling needs. If you've already added your employees, positions, and locations to the account, you're good to start scheduling. On the schedule page, there are multiple tabs which can help you narrow down the view and focus on certain information. Admins usually default to the full schedule view, so they are looking at all shifts. The My Locations tab shows schedules related only to the locations assigned in your profile. This tab can be helpful for managers as they can avoid having to apply filters on the full schedule to look at just their own areas of responsibility. The My Schedule tab lists only your own assigned shifts. Pending Approval will list any shift applications or exchanges, time off, or unavailability that is waiting for a manager's reply. The Unavailability tab shows dates and times your employees cannot work and allows a manager to click on a block to access the full details of that unavailability set. Underneath the Schedule tabs, you'll find the Date Range menus. All Sling accounts have options to view the schedule by day, week, and month. The month view offers a calendar layout, and a horizontal layout for those who prefer to see employee names listed at the left but want to see an entire month at once. Premium and business accounts can also access a custom range, which can display up to 16 weeks at once. The custom view can also be laid out in calendar format or horizontally. You can use the arrow buttons to quickly jump back or forward, or you can click the date range menu to select a specific range quickly. You can also group the shifts on your schedule in multiple ways. This menu can vary between the different views but there are options to group shifts by employee name, start time, position, location, or group. Business accounts can also group according to tag or day part. By default, all locations, positions, employees, and shift types are visible under the full schedule tab, but across the top of the page, there are filters available so you can focus on just the information you want. To select just one item from a filter menu, click on the text. To deselect just one, click the checkbox. Note that the filters for each tab are independent from one another, so it's possible to have different sets of filters applied on each tab at the same time. These filters also help you save time when creating shifts as they can pre-populate certain information into the new shift window based on your selections. For example, if I filter just one location and one position into view, the shift window pre-selects them for me so I don't have to choose them manually. You can also focus on specific event types like scheduled shifts or available shifts. And don't forget the add-ons menu. Here you can add or remove information to clean up the look of the schedule even more. For example, if you'd like to print a paper copy of the schedule but don't want all employees to see labor cost information, just deselect those items and then download your PDF copy. Now on to the most important part, creating shifts. To add a new shift, click the blue Create Shift button at the top right of the page or hover your mouse over the calendar grid and click the Add button that appears there. A new shift window will pop up where you can enter all the details of your shift. Select a time from the menu or type one into these fields. Time blocks can also be set for faster scheduling so you can quickly apply frequently used time and break combinations with just a few clicks. If you want to add open-ended shifts, click in the end time field and check the option to hide it from employees. On their end, they will just see the start time of the shift so they don't expect to leave at a specific time, but rather when all their work is completed for the day. 
In addition to a start and end time, a shift must have a location and position assigned, and you can also easily create new ones right from this window. An employee can be assigned right away, or you can leave this field blank to create an unassigned shift, which can help you map out your coverage for easy assigning later. Business accounts can add tags and tasks to a shift as well. If you don't see any of these fields, just go to the top right corner of the window and click on the icon shown. Tags allow you to add more detail to a shift that is visible from the main view of the schedule. For example, you can let a server know which section they will be covering, designate the manager on duty, assign a workstation for a cook, or anything else you might like to add. These can also be created from the shift window so you don't have to leave the schedule page if you need a new one. Tasks let you assign specific checklists to be completed for the shift, which employees can view and check off as they go. Shift notes are available to all accounts and allow you to input a large amount of text so you have the flexibility to add lots of details for your employees about any number of things. This could help with event details, client details, care notes, location specifics, and more. If employee schedules don't change from week to week, you can apply a recurrence to make the shift repeat automatically. If this field isn't visible, you may need to click the double arrow icon at the top right corner. Recurring shifts can be set to repeat this week or every week, up to every eight weeks. Next, highlight the days of the week on which the shift should occur, then set an end date for the recurrence, or choose to let it repeat for one year. The recurrence is limited to populating shifts for one year at a time, but you can always extend this by editing the last shift that occurs. When you're done entering the shift details, choose whether you want to add it to the calendar as a published or unpublished shift. Unpublished shifts are only visible to managers and admins so you can continue adjusting the schedule as needed without alerting employees. Published shifts are visible to employees and trigger notifications to be sent out. The exception here are unassigned shifts, which are only visible to managers and admins whether published or not. It's easy to spot the difference between unpublished and published shifts on the calendar. Unpublished shifts will have a dotted outline and no fill color, while published shifts will be a solid block of color. You can keep adding shifts individually, or you can use one of our time-saving tools to build the schedule faster. To copy shifts, select the ones you'd like to copy, then click the icon at the top left of the page. To copy all shifts in the current range, just click the copy button at the top right. You'll have a chance to confirm the dates you want to copy, and can even revert all of your shifts to unassigned if you want to change the employees assigned to the shifts. Notice you can also choose to copy a single date or up to four weeks at once. To quickly copy a single shift, hold down the command or control key while you drag and drop it to another spot on the calendar. Shift templates are another way to build schedules quickly. First, you will need to set up your most commonly used shifts. Name the template to easily pick it out from the list. Like any other shift, a time, location, and position are required. Then it can be applied by drag and drop, or you can apply these via the new shift window, which will also give you an opportunity to edit the details, including adding a recurrence. If you switch to the horizontal month view, you can use the paste option for templates to populate schedules fast. This can be especially useful for organizations that schedule rotations such as three on and two off.
If you'd like to let your employees choose their own schedules, you can post available shifts. Click in the green row to create a new available shift. When the shift is published, your employees who match the location and position of that shift will be notified so they can log in and apply to work. The account admin can choose whether employees' applications require approval from a manager or if they will be approved on a first-come, first-served basis. Premium and business accounts can also add multiple slots for an available shift so you can easily meet staffing needs without creating shifts one at a time. As applications are received, you can see the number of applicants compared to the number of available slots. And as you assign the shift, the number of slots will be reduced until all are filled and the shift will disappear from the available row. If you're not sure who to schedule for some shifts yet, create unassigned shifts. Again, these are not visible to employees even if published, so they serve as reminders to managers and admins of shifts that still need coverage. To assign them, drag and drop to an employee's row. You can also click on an unpublished shift to add an employee. or you can click on a published shift to open the details and assign from the options button. If you'd like to make them all available for employees to pick up, you can find that option under the auto menu. Our auto assign function is also located here. If you've built the coverage you need for the week in the unassigned row, you can ask Sling to assign shifts for you based on your employee's unavailability, approved time off, and preferred hours. This function takes assigned locations and positions into consideration and adds shifts to employees based on either lower cost of labor or equal distribution of hours. It's limited to assigning 100 shifts at a time, however, so we recommend filtering a specific position, location, or group to auto-assign in batches. If you don't like the assignments that Sling made, don't worry. You can use the Undo button to revert the shifts back to the unassigned row. Undo also works on any other changes you might make, including deleting shifts, but becomes unavailable once the schedule is published. Editing shifts is also easy in Sling. Click on any unpublished shift to access the edit window right away. A published shift includes an edit button for easy changes. Premium and business accounts can also update shifts using the bulk edit function. Just select the shifts you need to change, then click the pencil icon near the top left of the page. Choose the fields you want to edit and enter the new information. Add more fields easily using the button at the bottom of the window. Confirm whether the changes will be published or if you want to keep or revert the shifts to unpublished. For premium and business accounts, scheduled templates allow you to save an entire day or week of shifts to be applied again later. This might be especially useful for weeks when you might have lower or higher staffing, such as a holiday weekend or during seasonal slumps. Instead of finding the right week and copying, you can just apply the template as needed. Once you've added all your shifts and are ready to share the schedule with your employees, you can publish. Employees will get notifications of their assigned shifts and can log in on the mobile app or the website to review the details. Publishing only affects the visible shifts on your screen, so it's possible to apply filters to publish certain segments of your schedule.
Anything filtered out of view will remain unpublished when you clear your filters. If you need a paper copy of your schedule, there is a print button at the top right of the page. Click it and you can choose color or black and white, paper size, page orientation, and scaling. Then download your PDF copy and print it or use it as an attachment. In addition to printing, there is an export option available which will generate a spreadsheet laid out just like you see your schedule on your screen. The exported file would be collapsed, but you can easily expand the cells to view all the details within each. Exporting is a great option for organizations who use shift notes as they will be included in the spreadsheet. Thanks for following along and make sure you check out our other feature videos on the Sling channel.